reported live at Champions, it's Redskins Saturday night. With co-hosts George Stark, WABA's Don Geronimo, special guests from the world-famous Hogs, Russ Grimm, and our Crystal City Joker of the Week. Here's Pete Wysocki with the rest of the story. Good evening, and welcome to Redskins Saturday Night. I'm Pete Wysocki, your host, and Skins win 10-6. They beat L.A. They're 2-0, and, oh, and on top in the NFC East. Let's hear it for that. But what price is victory? It was expensive. Kelvin Bryant out, bad knee. Mel Kaufman snaps the Achilles tendon. He's out. Kenny Jenkins, former punter, he's on the, on the roster this week. And then the... Uh, the spot by Mel Kaufman, replaced by Daniels, a first-team starter last year for the Kansas City Chiefs. So the Skins aren't in real bad shape. George Stark predicted it would be a physical game. He also predicted a victory. George Stark, co-host, you did it. George hey, Stark, please. Thank you, Pete. Now, look, I'm not the kind of guy to say, hey, I predicted victory and that I said there were going to be five defensive sacks, and that I said that Butts and Company would dominate you the game. You are the kind of guy to say that. Oh, did I say that? You are Listen, saying it. Oh, now. God, it flipped out. I'm sorry. Creskin, the amazing Creskin writing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I read, read the paper and said, I guess I can say that. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you know, Don, you were in the stands when the big play occurred. And we knew that. Hold on, Pete, that, please. Don Geronimo, radio personality from the WAVA Morning Zoo. You heard him, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, so I want you guys to know something. You see this? Yes. I know you guys don't have to do this, but I want you to know that I have to fill this up before every show, okay? Okay, down the hall you know to the left, Don, you? okay. You know what I'm saying? And it's only yeah. right, too. Well, it's show business. All right, now, <laughs> we knew that Nat McCullen, dangerous punt returner for the Oakland Raiders, right? He had a chance. Los, Los Angeles Raiders. Los Angeles. Remember, it's right, Los the Angeles. Indianapolis okay. Colts. Linebacker, he took a lot of shots to the head, okay? Don't worry, I, I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it, okay. Los then, Angeles. Then, Clint Didier goes back to the huddle. He Didier. Does. He Didier. His name is Didier. Didier goes back to the huddle, and he does take advantage of an opportunity. This is what we mean. <laughs> take those kinds of plays against the San Diego Chargers. San Diego's a big play team. They're the kind of team that sort of wins or loses, lives or dies on the big play. They're, you know, they always wanted to win 58 to 55. What's wrong with you guys? How can you have a team that one week beats Miami by 30 points and the next week can only score seven points against the Giants? Because How a can good, you have a team like Because that? a good defense, a good sound defense, will always beat a good offense. You know, that's, for example, now that's by an offense that Miami didn't have that good a defense. The Giants have a great defense, and they took that good offense and took it apart. The Redskins have a better defense. Hey, look, I'm not the guy that's just, you know, the inside guy here that's always pro Redskin, but I think that's how the game's gonna go. I'm surprised to hear you say that, because you're an offensive guy, and I thought all you offensive guys stick together and all the defensive well, guys Well, look, stick we're gonna together. be back with the uh, third team quarterback right after this. Offensive guy. Offensive guy. 